When building a home, you've got to ask yourself, when is the right time to add the basketball court? That's a good question. We're going to show you a video of a home that Emily toured a few weeks ago, part of the parade of homes, which would have made me referencing the basketball court make a lot more sense than it currently feels like it does. But we're going to get to that. We will get to that. Uh, and here is why. Usually, you use a realtor mm -hmm. to buy a home, right? right? But right. have you thought right. about getting a realtor to build one? Not to until this very moment. Not until right now. Right. And if that's you, just hang tight here. Here to explain why it's important to get that kind of help, we welcome back Julie and Daniel DeRoche with DeRoche Realty Group and Coldwell Banker Burnett. Hi, guys. Hello. So glad you're here. Thank you. Hey, we got to start with uh, you, of course, did a teardown mm. and a, a rebuild yep. in Edina. How the heck is it going? <laughs> it's, it's a little painful right now, but it's coming along. Oh, yeah. another yeah. week, it should be done. Done. We've moved in. You so, have moved in. Yeah. You mean you're so now we're just living through construction. You're <laughs> sleeping in this home, which is just gorgeous. Gorgeous. What was the obstacle? Do you think? Just <laughs> waiting for stuff to come in, mm. and you know, timing, and something gets behind, and then it throws all the other subs off, and. It's it, just kind of a domino. If and you order stuff that's kind of unique products that mm. aren't readily available, sometimes that can throw timing off. That of feels like yeah. you are communicating to Julie, <laughs> Daniel, and... I love her. <laughs> I love her. I am committed to her. Uh, okay, fabulous. All right, so let's talk to you guys about explaining this to us. Daniel, let's start with you here. Um, why do you need a realtor when you're building? To me, on the surface, that doesn't mm -hmm. add up. Well, in my opinion, there's a lot of reasons, but probably the two that I think are the most important is just to have someone that's looking out for you, like the representative for their builder and the builder are truly looking out for themselves. And the, you know, if you're buying or building a home, you want somebody that's looking out for your best interest. So a realtor is gonna be on your side of the table, looking out for your best interest, kind of arguing your side, if that makes any sense. And I would imagine that doesn't always happen, right? Do you have a, you have a horror story that you know of? I, I do have a quick horror story. I can, well, it's, it ended up fine, but it would have been bad had we not been there, to be honest. Uh, clients of mine were building a new construction home, and I, I like to do walkthroughs with my clients every week or two to just really see how the process is going. And mm -hmm. depending on the builder, it can be a six month process. Mm -hmm. And there was quite a few things that I didn't think were being done right. And I, I have a little bit of knowledge in the industry, so I wrote those down, talked with the builder, explained our thoughts all the time. Builder argued every one of them with me, tooth and nail. Well, mm -hmm. actually, the builder's um, job suit. The builder is a, a big builder, so you weren't actually talking with that person. Sure. Long story short, at the end of it all, we did get them to fix everything. I got a fly in my face, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> we did get them to fix everything, uh, but it was really, really, really a battle all the way through. And at the end of it all, uh, my buyers are very happy, but we had a lot of items that we really had to fine tune. That builder's um, job soup actually reached out to me after closing, and we had words during the process that I thought he hated me, and I wasn't real fond of him. But after the process, he actually called me to sell his properties mm. because he saw how differently we represented the buyers that most realtors don't and just helped get past the things that the builder says are normal. Boy, I got to tell you, that's mm -hmm. the sort of stuff that scares me yeah. from ever uh, building a home is because it seems very fun and you get your dream purchase in the end, but there's, there's a lot that goes into it. Julie, talk about the negotiation process. How, having, how, how does having a realtor uh, benefit the buyer in that case? Well, I think a lot of buyers walk into a model home and they think the price is the price and they don't even think about or don't even know how to negotiate with that builder. Uh, emotion gets in the way. They walk into the house and they start telling the builder's rep like how much they love everything and then they go to try to negotiate it and the builder's rep already knows that they're in love with it. So what is the, is there, I didn't know that there was that much negotiation. You go in and you, you tour a model and they say, hey, this is uh, $300,000. If you add that sink, it's $305,000 yeah. and that there's just a sticker price and that's what you have to no, go with. No, we like to come up with the base price and then what they want to add in and say it comes out to 320. Well then what I'll do is I'll go back to the builder and say, okay, well, we want all that, but we want it for 290. And then we go back and forth. It's always negotiated. It's always it negotiable. Is. And you can bring up other properties that your buyer has seen that are in the existing world as tools to help you negotiate too. Daniel, talk about the importance of a realtor uh, knowing the difference between all the builder options mm -hmm. that are out there. Yeah, there's a lot. You should be really careful on the options. Like you can add to a house, like add to the foundation size. If you're custom building, you can add to the foundation size and that will benefit you more in the future than maybe putting you know, hardwood floors in and doing something different nowadays, like right now. So you can change out your flooring in the future, but you can't add to your foundation really easily in the future. 
So that's important stuff to look for, for sure. And then making sense of neighborhoods. I mean, you're choosing between neighborhoods. I would imagine, realtors, mm -hmm. that you, you understand all the different neighborhoods in and around the Twin Cities Metro a whole lot better than I do. Yeah, there's so many new construction neighborhoods. So you, you have to know which neighborhoods to go into for y what you want, but then you also have to be very careful of not overbuilding for a neighborhood. Very careful of that. And, and what if you're looking for somebody who's a realtor who can help you through the building process? Can everybody do that? Yes, they can. I mean, most we realtors, you that, hope yeah. most realtors can. Um, obviously, we have a lot of experience in building homes. We've, we have a lot of clients that go through the build process. So when you sit down with a realtor, you want to make sure they have done it in the past. You want to ask questions like, how many buyers do you represent a year that build homes? You want to be working with someone that actually knows what they're doing. Because there are realtors out there that maybe don't you know, have know. any mm -hmm. knowledge of building. Yeah. And there's a huge advice. difference between the... I'll call them national builders and the custom builders. Because like the ones you were talking about where you add this, it's $300,000, you add the sink, it's this, you add this, it's that. Usually that's more the national builders where they've got four plans to choose right. from and here's right. our a la carte stuff. Whereas a custom builder, you're starting with a blank piece of paper and there's a lot. That's oh, helpful information. Both yeah. overwhelming mm -hmm. and really exciting ideas. It all can be a lot of fun. Same time. Better with your help. Hey, if you'd like more information on these properties, along with a link to the DeRoche Realty Group with Coldwell Banker Burnett, go to TwinCitiesLive.com, and all you've got to do is click on Fun. And you know what? They'd be happy to talk with you if you're interested in buying, selling, or building a home. They both just love walking with folks through that process. The most important thing you'll ever do. Yeah, you know, it really ever, is. Ever big ticket item, yeah. Thanks to DeRoche Realty Group for sponsoring Twin Cities Live. Coming up, we